I think I found one of Stardew's weirdest mods. See, the Mr. Ginger mod adds a sweet little cat to the game as a custom NPC, and while it seemed innocent at first, I had no idea what I was in for as it soon devolves into this bizarre storyline with magic and fighting, and even some, uh, strange developments. Surely I can't marry the cat, right? I think it's in Marnie's house, which would make the most sense considering Marnie's, you know, the animal person of the valley. Oh, there it is! Hi, kitty! Meow. Wow, there he is, Mr. Ginger! The least creative name for a cat I've, I've, I've ever seen. There, there it is! That's the cat! So thank you guys so much for coming along to this mod showcase. I don't, I, I'm gonna be honest with you, chat. Usually I have a running storyline for these things, but I just don't, I don't know how much more you could add in with a cat. What, what would a cat like as a gift? Surely tuna, right? Mr. Ginger, do you like tuna? Meow. Is that a happy meow? It looks like it's smiling. I think it's happy. Does this thing walk around? Does it leap or is it just waiting for Jazz? I think it is waiting for the child to come out of her room. Oh, here we go. It's, it's still not moving. Let's sleep till the next day. Maybe it does something on a different day. Maybe it's just a lazy Sunday for the cat. He's actually moved. Oh shit, he's in Jazz's room. Oh, oh, it's and now it's following Jazz. They like a little storybook. Oh, no, never mind. He just left Jazz. If you're like me and you like playing Stardew Valley on the go, but you've never really liked the less than useful mobile controls, then you'll like this because today's video is sponsored by Backbone. This little controller is the future of handheld and mobile gaming and turns your Apple or Android phone into a fully functional gaming device. Just unbox, stretch, click it in, and that's it. You now have a handheld gaming console you can take anywhere. I honestly bring my backbone with me everywhere I go, whether I'm just like on the train or hanging out, because it has made playing Stardew Valley Mobile so much easier. And it's not just Stardew Valley. With the click of a button, it takes you to the sleek Backbone app where you can access any of your favorite mobile games and even PC, Xbox, or PlayStation games you own with cloud gaming. You guys know I only accept sponsorships from products I actually use, and this isn't my first sponsorship from Backbone because I genuinely believe in this product. And if you want to pick up a Backbone controller for yourself, you can if you head over to playbackbone.com or click the link in the description down below. Thank you so so much to Backbone for sponsoring today's video. Now let's get back to Mr. Ginger. A cutscene? Wait, he wants to get into the star drop. I need a beer. It's been a hard day. Emily. Hello, Osiris. Emily, it's called Mr. Ginger. It's a ginger cat. It's right. It's on the collar. Meow. No, he's sad. He just wants his alcohol. That's it. Okay, okay. Don't tell Gus. Do not serve this cat a pint. He might be underage. He's got a little fishy. Oh, you are hungry, aren't you, Osiris? Oh, hello, Nino. You surprised me. You're not gonna tell Gus, are you? Uh, Emily, I'm gonna be honest, Gus seems like a good dude. He gave Linus some free food. I'm sure he's okay with you giving this rotten $2 fish to the local cat. I know Osiris lives on the ranch and he's probably well fed, but he always just seems so hungry. He's a very special creature, Osiris. Sometimes I get the feeling that he's more than just a cat. I think that's just the drugs, Emily. You know, sometimes you just need to lay off some of Carolyn's tea, Emily. Although maybe there's no such thing as just a cat. <laughs> what do you think? There's definitely something unique about him. All cats have a mind of his own. What the, it's just a fucking cat. I'm, this cat hasn't done anything. It just sits there. Fine, it's unique, Emily. It's a cat, it's a ginger cat. You can't get that base game. Wait, yes you can. Yeah, okay, I, I love all kitty cats. So yeah, sure, some, there's something unique about him. Too right. He appeared in town soon after Jess arrived. She was just a tiny little girl, recently orphaned. Wait, Jess's parents are dead? I don't think there was ever a base game confirmation, right? Nobody knew where he came from or who he belonged to. But do you know what? I believe he's her guardian angel. <laughs> it's a cat. I better go. Gus will be wondering what I've got up to. Goodbye, Nino. And goodbye, Cyrus. See you around. Yeah, I think Emily was uh, a little too relaxed on her lunch break. You know what I mean? Mer, Good kitty. I'm starting to get a little creeped out by this cat. If Emily's out here saying that there's something weird about this cat, 
then I think there's something weird about this cat. This cat's gonna speak to me at some point, isn't it? Linus, what did you do to Mr. Ginger? Oh no, Linus, that wasn't a squirrel, it was a cat. Oh, oh God, you tell Jess, not me. He fucking is here. This is, what does this cat do? He is here. Meow. He bloody comes along too to hang out with Willie again. Willie, does this cat speak to you? Half an hour afterwards. Did that cat just open that door? Oh, look, Mr. Ginger's following Jazz through the cemetery. Maybe he's like a, sh a Shinigami. Maybe it's like a Death Note situation. Maybe only the chosen ones can see Mr. Ginger. Oh, oh, the girls are having their workout and Mr. Ginger is here. What is he gonna do? Like join in in the workout? Meow. Shoo, Carolyn, what the hell? What do you mean shoo? It's just a cat. Hello, Mr. Ginger. Dropped by to join us for some exercise, did ya? Hello, kitty. Aren't you a handsome fellow? If Robin called me a handsome fellow, I would melt into a puddle. Mr. Ginger? So that's his name? Well, it's what Jazz named him. She says it's not his real name, though. Oh, God. Why did Marty say that so seriously? <laughs> Marty's like, the cat speaks to her. And here I've been calling him Tiger. Sam calls him Goose. I'm not sure why. Okay, ladies. We're here to exercise. Not fawn over a silly cat. Silly! Meow! <laughs> That's a pissed cat, dude. Oh no, now you've ticked him off. Hey, what's that cat doing in here? Look how pissed Mr. Ginger is. He's like us. He hates Pierre just as much as we do. You know I'm uh, 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 chew. Wow, what a shocker. Pierre's allergic to pussy. Everyone in this town knows this cat and it's all known by different names. Jazz could speak to this cat and calls it Mr. Ginger, but that's not its real name. What's the cat's name? Is it Payman? Did it tell you to murder your parents? Oh my God, what if that was it? What if this cat is just like some demon? Like Payman, there it is. It's fucking hanging out of the cemetery. This cat actually is Payman. Did you tell Jazz to murder her parents? Surely I can't marry the cat, right? I can't marry this cat. I know it says, it doesn't say single. So I'm like praying to God. Can I make it, can I have it like move in with me? Oh, oh, we're having a Haley scene. Muffled meow. meow. Is that, is that Freddy Fish? Did you kill Freddy Fish, Mr. Ginger? Oh, Willy. Oh, and he's hiding. Oh my God, did you steal Willy's fish? <laughs> oh, hey there, Nino. Have you seen Bo soon? Large orange cat. I can't believe none of them have called the cat Garfield. It's just right there. Pesky pig has stolen me lunch. A raw fish? You gonna eat a raw, a raw fish? A little, okay, sure. Yeah, all right. Point north. He went that way. He's behind the bush. No, let's cartoon this. Let's be like, he went that way. Zoinks. Thanks, lad. I was really looking forward to it. Oh, now I feel bad, Willie. No, Mr. Ginger, what did you make me do? Your evil's running off on me. Wait, you just give me a sturgeon? Oh, you're not so bad after all, Mr. Ginger. Meow, meow. He just stole from Willy. That was the whole thing. He's just kind of being a little rascal. Okay, apparently to continue the story with Mr. Ginger, we actually need to get two hearts with the wizard. I don't know how the two are connected. Maybe the wizard summoned the demon cat? I'm not sure. Greetings, Yannick Det. Our mutual acquaintance has requested your presence in my tower after the hours of darkness. Please... Please bring a fragment of the void? A mutual acquaintance? Is this cat actually a fucking demon? There he is. Look, they're together. I'm sorry I cannot help you with your more pressing problems, Strix. But perhaps... Well, none of us can know what the future holds. Oh, yes, correct. Except for Madame Walwick. But she's staying mute on this particular topic. I, I know, I know. But patience, they say, is a virtue. And perhaps... Well... Perhaps tonight will set the cogs in motion, the wheel turning. This is sinister. No wonder Emily knew that something was up. She could see into the next plane of existence and she knew something was going on with this cat. Okay, yes, I'm waffling again. I've been alone too long, my friend. And right on time, our guest has arrived. Oh shit, chat, did I bring a void essence? Hi, I'm pleased you could join us. Yes, yes, I know, please, patience. Have you bought the item I requested, Nino? I think so. Excellent, oh, thank God, okay. Otherwise, it was me going into that cauldron. This should fulfill my requirements precisely. 
let us begin. What are we brewing? Ho ho ho, that's a surprise. An ounce of powdered stardust, a dram of pigeon's blood, the petals of a fairy rose. And thanks to you, Nino, the final ingredient, the coup de gras, a fragment of darkness, a splinter from the heart of the void. <laughs> it's just the cat is so dramatic and then it's just meow meow. You, you get the idea. Drink up. I know last time was least than pleasant, but the benefit outweighs the cost, does it not? Am I going to be able to talk to this cat after I drink this? Okay, he drugged us. The fucking cat can talk! I knew it! Are you okay? No, I'm terrified. I've got a psychopath Lola next to me and a demon satanic cat. It's great to have someone else to talk to. I mean, Raz is fine, but he's a bit tail in the air, don't you think? I can hear you, you know, kitty. Is that like a cat slur? Like you can't call them kitty? He knows I hate that name. So demeaning, like I'm some sort of common house pet. Kind of are. Can I adopt this cat? What the fuck is the point? Why can the, what, why can this cat speak? Why do you need to speak to this cat? What, is this the tin heart? Did Jas forget about you? Nino, I'm so glad you're here. I need your help. It's Jash. She's, she's inside and she's scared and alone and I, I can't get to her. Oh, he is being like a guardian angel. I'm really good at breaking into places, so I'm sure we can get you back in there pretty easily. She has terrible night fears. Marnie's out and Shane's sleeping like the great useless meathead he is. There's a key under that fake rock by the door. Oh! <gasps> Wait, Shane wasn't being a meathead. And the princess lowered her lips to press a careful kiss on the frog's slimy head. Mr. Ginger, you've been replaced. Ew! There came a spark of light, bright enough to dazzle the princess. When her vision cleared, there before her crouched a man. Not a man, a prince. A handsome prince. No, not a prince. A simple farm boy who loved her with all his heart. And if he had slightly bulgy eyes and clammy skin, what of it? Ick. Uncle Shane, you're so funny. Thank you, but seriously, kiddo, you don't need a prince to be happy. I know, you just need to know there's someone who cares. Yeah, that's right, sweetheart. Oh, this is really sweet. Rare Shane dub. Now, you ready to go back to sleep yet? Nightmare forgotten? Uncle Shane needs to rest his aching head. Is he, is he on the piss through all of this? It's not forgotten, but better. Yes, better. I think I can sleep now. Good night, Uncle Shane. Thank you, that made me feel much better. Do you feel useless, Mr. Ginger? Do you feel like you've been replaced? Sucks to suck, Mr. Ginger. She didn't need me after all. She has him now. She'll always need you, he's her uncle, but you're a cat. That makes me feel much better. Mr. Ginger, Mr. Ginger, is that you? You're needed, Mr. Ginger. Bye, Nino. I gotta go. She really loves that cat. Can I steal this cat from Jess? Oh my God, Shane caught me breaking in. Was that the 10 heart event? I have so many unanswered questions. I was wholesome and now he's a floating cat. Anyone can talk to animals, but it takes a special kind of person to listen to them. Yes, that's a compliment. Don't get used to them. I've got a reputation to uphold, you know. I have so many questions. That wasn't the nine heart event? There's more? Well, now that we can talk to the cat, does that mean we can talk to her on different days and see what it says? Hello? You know, Abigail? She smells like whispers in the night? What the fuck, Mr. Ginger? Sometimes I think she might almost be able to understand me. Oh, is this like hinting towards Abigail being the wizard's daughter? Emily, I'm sorry. Hi, Emily, I'm sorry for everything I said. You were right about the cats. You were right about the cat, Emily. What if I'm this golden pumpkin that everyone is looking for? What? <laughs> Why would you? What makes you think that? What? <laughs> wait, 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 wait. Okay, we needed four hearts with Linus? Dude, this cat has to know everyone. Not a bad hole, Marmalade. Marmalade, you called it Marmalade? It's Garfield is right there, dude. We'll eat well tonight. Although I'm sure Marnie feeds you well. I think this cat eats better than you do, Linus. Marnie feeds me. I'm more than capable of feeding myself, thank you very much. Linus, if you can speak to this cat, I'm gonna lose my mind. Reigning champion of Mouser of the Ranch, eight years in a row. You're eight years old? You're an old kitty cat. Although yes, I do appreciate the cheese and fish. Thanks for keeping me company this evening. Something feels a little off tonight. Don't you think? It smells like clouds on the edge of a storm. And like whispers in the night? 
The void is restless. We should hurry. Is something coming out of the void? Oh my god, there is a demon coming out. Hey, you void breath. Leave my friend alone. Kitty. Don't call me Kitty. Look, he's fighting. He's throwing hands. Oh, he killed a man. Mama lady, are you okay? You saved my life. You're a hero. Oh, you're hurt. We'd better get you patched up. If only the town had a vet. Wait, that was it? He threw hands? Why can Linus hear the void? I swear to God, Linus is in touch with nature or like the darkness or something. Oh, don't fuss, Nino. It's just a scratch and Linus patched me up good. Actually, please do fuss. It hurts. Some cheese might help me heal up, please, some cheese. Wait, do you like cheese? Oh, he loves cheese. I thought cats were lactose intolerant. Marlin, what? I've just come in to visit the town. This isn't the town, this is my, oh, just outside my house. I bumped into my good friend Linus this morning. I was wondering if, um, if you happen to have seen Marmalade around. How this cat gets around everywhere, dude. I believe he also goes by the name of Osiris, Trix, and Mr. Ginger. There he is. Why were you, were you at my farm? Did somebody say my name? Not that I'm in my habit of coming when called, but, ah. <laughs> Hello, Marlin. Can you speak to this cat too? Is every old man in this town magical? Still living with that old man up in that house on the mountain? Daydreaming about a life that could have been if you had only followed your heart instead of your stubborn conscious. Talkative, isn't it? Marlin never learned to listen. So, Greybeard, what brings you down from the mountains? You know, you should pop down and say hi to Marnie while you're here. Yeah, Mr. Ginger playing matchmaker. She moves around and reads nauseating paperbacks. She's waiting for a pirate to sweep her off her feet. Can't understand a word I'm saying. Silly humans need to clear their ears out. Oh, we can't understand you? Well, this is uh, somewhat unusual, but I've come here with a proposal. I hear your cat has been quite the hero, Nino. It's not my cat, it's Jess's cat, but not for much longer. And we were wondering if he might be interested in joining the Adventurers Guild. It's a cat, Marlin. It's a cat. The Adventurers Guild? Me, a, a defender of the town. It's dangerous work. I mean, how do you think I lost my eye? But what do you say? The chance to protect Jess and everyone else? Why would it be an honor? But what do you think, Nino? You a defender, you're a cat. It's not often that I'm the point of reason in these mods. F -f Screw it, fine. Yeah, you're brave and strong and they need you. I am, aren't I? I I'm so glad you recognize that. Is that a yes? Do you, the one known as Marmalade and also Mr. Ginger, solemnly swear to put the lives of others before your own? Do you promise to act as a guardian and a protector to guard against the blight of darkness and the pestilence of the void, that which resides when and without. You may rise, noble feline. <laughs> oh, he's actually like scratching on him. That's so cute. Thank you for this honor, Marlin. I'll do you proud, I, I promise. I don't think this cat can swing a sword. Can I steal this cat from Jas? Surely, I mean, surely it's not the mermaid's pendant, right? I would hope to God it's not the mermaid's pendant. Mr. Ginger doesn't want to marry you right now. Thank God. Okay, roommates? I don't appreciate being mocked, Nino. Whoa, 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 what do you mean? What do you mean? What do you mean? Give him a legendary fish? Here, yeah, have this. Fish and cheese for the rest of my life? Sure, count me in. Just got a few affairs to set in order first. Give me a few days? Is this cat gonna be my roommate? Are you abandoning poor sweet little Jess that quickly? <laughs> That's so funny. Holy shit, he has a room. Wait, there's a cat out there. And then dolphin. There was a fox sniffing around the chicken coop this morning. Don't worry, I scared him away. Wow! I'm still the toughest Tom in town. That's so cute. Wait, he's on my little cat now. I have a cat. I swear to God, chat, there's more to this. When you look into the mod, like the actual mod itself, there's so much more to this that I would like, I don't even know how to unlock. Chat, look at this. Note, these will only be activated under very specific circumstances, so are unlikely to be seen by many, if any, players. While this is unusual, but very well if you insist, clears through, it is my great day on my great honor on this day to support at and earn um, Mr. Ginger and pledging their dedication to one another. This sounds like Lewis marrying the cat. Yeah, look, player 
and Ginger, as the mayor of Pelican Town and regional bearer of the matrimonial seal, I now pr can pronounce you companions for life. You, you're not married, you're like just companions for life. How does that happen? Wait, did you see that? That was so cute. We gave him a little cuddle. You know what, Mr. Ginger? I don't care if you made Jess kill her parents. You're all right in my book.